And hello again, everyone. Steve Baker here. Your first spring football interview with head coach Chuck Martin here at the Dalk Indoor Sports Center and Coach Practice One in the books. And uh, just to get out here and, and feel football again for these guys. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. We miss it. It's been a long time since the Cure Bowl. Uh, it's the last time we really got um, – have had a great off-season conditioning and lifting all that, and that's fun too. But it's not fun like being out here. Obviously, you're just in helmets, um, so it's not. We're not. You know, Sunday we'll get right. some pads on and get some real football going. But again, you still, everybody's back out here. We're flying around. Um, we're doing some good things. We're doing some average things. We're doing some awful things. Uh, I said we just had a nice four-play sequence where a kid puked. <laughs> Then we dropped a five-yard speed cut. Then the kid puked again, and then we threw a pick. So that wasn't really very yeah, good. So, yeah. but it's spring one, and we got a long time till August, whatever it is that we play our first game or September when we play our first game. But it was great to be back out here. A lot of energy, uh, a lot of enthusiasm. And then again, a lot of new faces. You know, yeah. so there's some transfers. There's six six high school seniors that should be getting ready for prom that aren't here. Yeah. Uh, so it, it was it was awesome to be back out here. That was my next question. The newcomers, uh, several early enrollees, and your transfers. Uh, at this point, you know, of spring ball, t take me through spring ball. Do you really look at those guys to say, okay, they're going to fit a hole here, maybe in the fall, or do you just work the guys getting back to football? Yeah, no, we know we have some holes to fill. They, The players at those positions know the opportunities, and there's multiple guys that obviously want to fill them. And, again, everything matters. Like, day one, are we going to be perfect day one? No, but some kids stood out that they were more ready to go. And we we always talk about, me and you always talk about, when you put the kid in the arena, it's different. Like, mm -hmm. the, the drill works great. The off season's great. He looks great. Then you put him out, and it's 11-11. The coaches are on the sidelines. What's he look like then? And that's the game of football. So, um, even today, there's some kids that stood out on a positive light, there's some kids that look like they were kind of dipping their toe in the water. And it's their first day here. Well, it's just their first day. Okay, well, when are they going to stop dipping their toe in the water? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some kids don't ever dip. Don't they ever, they yeah. just jump off the high dive and let's rock and roll and see what happens. So, again, it's people come along at different paces, but we're looking at everything, and you're looking for guys to stand out right away. And you have different changes in your coaching staff, uh, you know, guys that have gone on as they should and that sort of thing, uh, getting them uh, in acclimated into Miami football, right? Yeah, we're still having changes as we speak. Oh, so. uh, yeah, okay. So, cool. yeah, well, we, we lost. <laughs> We lost somebody on Sunday. So oh. uh, we always say the price of success, or in my business, the price of failure. At least yeah. this time, it's the price of success. I said, you either win and you move on or you lose, and they tell you to move on. Yeah, either way, right, it goes. Right. So, um, but um, we, we get, you know, we, we've lost four four good coaches to, to really good opportunities, and that's what happens uh, um, as we're looking for, just like when we lose a good player. Like, I'm not mad at the guys that left. I'm excited for their family, and their, but. I'm more excited about the guy coming in and who's the new guy and what's he going to bring and what's he going to add maybe and can we get better at that position? Mm -hmm. We're always trying to get better. So you, you lose good players, you lose good coaches. The goal is always to get better, not not to get worse. Oh, my God, what are we going to do without him? Well, All right. we're going to we're gonna find somebody to replace him that's even more excited to be at Miami and can bring even more to the table. So, But we had some coaches that were kind of dipping their toe in the water today too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't blame them, to be honest with you, Coach. Uh, take us through the next week. We'll talk again a week from now. What uh, what are you looking for? And kind of run us through the practice schedule. You said pads on Sunday. Yeah, so we got Thursday helmets again. Then we're going Sunday um, with our first padded practice. Then we're going Tuesday, Thursday, leading up to spring break. Yeah. So we'll get five in before spring break, which will give us a really good start. That'll be a third of spring ball. Yeah. We'll take take a week off for spring break, come back, and we'll have 10 more to get into culminating in the spring game. Um, so the nice thing gets split. We can get some work done. We can take a deep breath, kind of do some inventory. Kids can get their legs and bodies back in shape, and we can go get after it for 10 practices after break. So that's kind of the schedule. Coach, thank you very much. Thanks, Mike. Hey, Coach Chuck Martin joining us. And don't forget, the season tickets are available now. The schedule has been released, and you can reserve your seat for six home games. That's right, six home games, including Ohio and Cincinnati, will be here at Jaeger Stadium. Go to MiamiRedHawks.com, get your tickets, and we'll see you at Jaeger this fall.